Okay, so in this lecture, we're going to create a auto scaling group. And so before that, I'm just going to terminate all my EC2 instance that we've created from before. Don't worry, they'll be recreated soon enough. Next, I want to go all the way down to the bottom and create an auto scaling group. Now this auto scaling group is going to be a bit special. So the first thing we have to do is to create a launch configuration. So for this, we'll select Amazon Linux 2 AMI, click on select, T2 micro, click on configure details. Here for the launch configuration, I'll call it my launch config. And the IAM role, I'll select Amazon EC2 role for SSM. Excellent. Then for advanced details in the user data, I'm going to install Apache as a boot. And so here is my user data.sh file. And so what this script does is very simple. We update the packages, then we install HTTPD, so Apache on our machine. We start Apache, we enable Apache at reboot, and then we just echo this hello world from host name into our index.html file into var www.html. And so this will just start a small web server just like we've done before. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and then go to my user data and paste this here. When you're ready, you click on next at storage. Configure security group and we'll select an existing security group. For this, I'll just use the my web app, which right now allows HTTP traffic on port 80 from my load balancer. Click on review and click on OK, continue. Next, we're ready to go. Click on create launch configuration and we'll assign an AWS course key pair to this. OK, now we go to creating the auto scaling group. We'll just call it my, my ASG and we'll start with three instances. In the subnet, I'm going to choose three subnets. And basically this says that I should launch instances in EU West 1C, 1A and 1B. That's because we want to be highly available. So remember, this is all about high availability. In the advanced details, we can set load balancing. And so here we can say to receive traffic from one or more load balancers. We don't have a classic load balancer, we have an application load balancer. And so for this, we use target groups. So in target groups, I'm going to select my Apache web. For now, the health check type is going to be EC2, not ELB. We'll change this in a second, but I want to start by EC2 to show you something. For the grace period, I'm going to select 60 seconds and the rest is good. Next, we click on configure scaling policies. And this is where we could configure the scaling policies for our ISG. We could use scaling policies to target, for example, an average CPU utilization, but we could also set step or simple scaling policies if we wanted to have alarms and add instances and decrease instances based on CloudWatch alarms. For now, we will go very, very simple. We'll not have any scaling policies because I expect you to know them and we'll keep this group at its initial size. Click on configure notification and we're fine. We're not gonna have any notification tags as well and click on review. Let's go ahead and create our auto scaling group. Now, so our auto scaling group has been created, click on close and now it is starting. So as you can see now, the number of desired instances is three, the min is three and the max is three. What I'm going to do right now is just edit the min and the max. So I'll click on edit and I will just set the min to zero such as we can lose instances if we needed to. Press on save. And so let's see what happens. If we look at instances, the really cool thing is that because we have set up three instances desired and we have selected three subnets to launch our instances in, we can see that the three instances being launched right now are launched in EU West 1A, 1B and 1C. So by default, by selecting the fact that we have a ASG in three AZ, we get high availability and that's pretty cool. So now I'm just going to wait for my instances to be ready and I'll just pause the video. Okay, so my instances are now healthy. And so if we go to my target group itself, we should be seeing in targets the fact that yes, my three instances are healthy and they're registered and they're in three AZ, so we have full high availability. Okay, so what that means is that if I go to my load balancer, I should be able to access my application. So let's go to the DNS name, I'll copy it, and then I'll open a new tab and paste it. Here we go, we get the hello world. And if I refresh, we get sent to three different applications, three different instances. So this is working really, really great. As you can see, my instances just work just fine. But now I want to show you what happens with all these health checks and these advanced stuff, because you already know this. Okay, so let's go back to our auto scaling group. And so one thing I want to show you is the health checks. So let's say that right now, our three instances are healthy, but we have an EC2 health check. 
So that means that even though my ELB would mark an instance, or an instance as, as unhealthy, my ASG will not see it. So let's just demo this right now. I'm going to go to Systems Manager, so I'll open a new tab into Systems Manager. And I'm going to just go and do Session Manager. And I will take one of my instances, so I'll start a new session. And I'll take any of these instances and start a session on it. Here we go, I'm on a session. And so I'm going to do sudo su to be root. And I'm going to do systemctl stop httpd. So this is going to stop Apache on this server. Now another thing I may want to do very, very quickly is in target group, I'm going to um, disable, uh, scroll down and set the deregistration delay to 10 seconds, because this way we don't have to wait that long. Okay, click on save. This is when the instances will be terminated. Okay, so what happened is that now, through what I've done in systems manager, in this, basically, I've rendered that instance unhealthy. So if we go to our target group, yes, and we go to health checks, uh, targets, now we can see that two instances are healthy. These two first are healthy, but this one in EU one, uh, West 1A is unhealthy. That's because the health check fails. But if we go to our auto scaling group and we look at the health checks of our instances the three of them are healthy and so that's a very popular exam question it says well the ASG is healthy but the ELB is not healthy and it's unmatching so what we have to do is indeed instead of having an EC2 health check type we'll enable an ELB health check type and so the ELB health checks will propagate to the ASG click on save so now the health check type is ELB and so what we should be seeing now is very, very soon, one instance will be marked as unhealthy. So here we go. My instance is marked now as unhealthy because the ELB health check just got propagated. And so EU West 1A is unhealthy. So what should happen very soon is that this instance, here we go, should be terminated because it was unhealthy. And you can see the cause. It says an instance was taken out of service in response to an ELB system health check failure. And so if we go to this instance in the EC2 console, we should be seeing it being terminated very soon, as soon as all the, the, the checks go in place. So I'll just wait a few seconds. And now we can see that my instance is shutting down. So it was marked unhealthy. So it's being terminated, obviously. And if I go back to my ASG, very soon it should launch a new EC2 instance in response to the fact that because it was terminated, my actual capacity was two and I wanted three. So it's going to start a new instance for me. I save, and so as you can see, this new instance being in service is an EU West 1A again, so it tries to balance the AZ. But so this is what I want to show you. This is all about health checks, all about OCO again using SSM just for using secure shells onto our machines, making sure everything is well configured. So I hope that was helpful. In the next lecture, we're also going to see some more advanced stuff. So see you in the next lecture.